Today's speaker is none other than my wife. Her name is Kui Hua. Uh, she will share with you on uh, three products. Okay, the first one is uh, resveratrol. The second product would be coenzyme Q10, and the third product would be oxygen plus. Okay, I think uh, there will probably be some people who will still be coming in, but let's not uh, delay. Uh, we will make a start now. So let's welcome to my wife, Kui Hua, to share with you. Thank you so much. Shop.com. The biggest asset will be our nutrition supplements. It is important uh, before you recommend the nutrition to your friends, your relatives, you need to know why uh, you need to take supplements and you need to know the importance of supplementation. So this is what I'm going to touch on. Although a lot of people may know, uh, but many other times we tend to forget. Okay? Second part, I'm going to introduce two isotonics products, resveratrol and CoQ10. And I thought that I will also introduce non-isotonic product, which is oxygen extreme. These are good products, even though um, we have been emphasizing on isotonics products. But uh, we do have some non-isotonic products as well. So I will give you an intro onto the different um, parts, okay? Part one, understanding the importance of nutritional supplementation. Can anyone guess what is the greatest machine on earth? Hey, you're too fast. <laughs> okay, take a good look at this. What do you see here? All the different organs here. Can you imagine that you put all these organs together? It forms one human. And no one has ever or is able to duplicate this. Okay. So now you know that you have the biggest asset on Earth. You own the greatest machine on Earth. Okay. Yes, none other than our own human body. You dance, okay? There you go. Do you know that a lot of us um, have nutritional deficiencies? Then people may say that, oh, I have balanced diet every day. I take a lot of vegetables and I take a lot of fruits. Why do I still have deficiencies? First of all, you have to recognize that each part of our body, for instance, uh, your heart, your kidney, your liver, each part has uh, high concentrations of certain nutrients. Now, do you know that 
if you have a deficiency of any nutrients at all, just one deficiency in one part of the body, it will cause the body parts, other parts, to malfunction and eventually break down. And, and the trouble is that sometimes we may feel that, oh, I have a bit of gas gastric. Do you know the gastric could be caused by lack of calcium? You said, I have pain all over my body. Do you know it could be lack of vitamin B? Okay? Do you know that our whole body is linked up? So therefore, if one part is not functioning properly, it's just like a domino. Can you see this unhappy face here? But the rest are actually very happy. But because of this one, you just give it a push, the whole row will fall down. Okay? This is exactly how our human body functions as well. Now, in the media, we have a lot of reports on nutrients as well. There are a lot of uh, um, uh, a lot of uh, headlines have been telling you why supplements are actually very important. For example, let's look at vitamin D. Do you know vitamin B can fight urinary tract infections? And do you know that people who do not have sufficient vitamin D can have depression? And vitamin D also can help shrink breast cancer cells. Chronic heights, that's eczema, okay? Vitamin D level found to be extremely low in women with breast cancer. Vitamin D accelerates recovery from tuberculosis. That means people who suffer tuberculosis, if you give them vitamin D, it helps. People with breast cancer, you give them vitamin D. The research, research has shown that that actually helps in the recovery. But, but when we go out, we do not like the sun because it's too hot or can cause pigmentation. So when we apply sunscreen, we block the vitamin D absorption into our skin. So what do you do? You don't have vitamin D from your environment, from the natural source, you need supplementation. Okay? In fact, obese kids have low vitamin D level. Uh, psoriatic arthritis, that means they have arthritis but the, they also have the reddish looking on the skin. They also seem to lack vitamin D. Omega-3. Omega-3 is very important. Now, if the research has shown that the fish oil lowers the risk of breast cancer. Treat depression, slow genetic aging in heart patients, shedding. Light on why omega-3 fatty acids can help the heart. Omega-3 is very important anti-inflammatory supplement. Digestive enzyme. It actually helps with the respiratory tract infection. Help kids that always have stomach virus. Prevent allergies. Do you know many other times people who have allergy is caused by their digestive tract or not intoxication. Okay? So there's a lot of products pushing out on probiotics, Yaku, Vitagen, all are telling you, take this, it's good for you, you've got too much barbecue, that can cause carcinogen, take uh, probiotics. So if you look at it generally, what are the common contributing factors? Watching too much computer, TV, do you know there are radiation involved? Work, stress, processed food of course, environmental contaminants, oxidative stress, prescription drugs, more. But if you don't have enough sleep, Sorry. you don't have enough exercise, or you don't take good food, it can also cause nutritional imbalance. Look at this, what does that look like? Prescription drugs. Common drugs, melanta for stomach. You know what kind of nutrients are wrong? Take a quick look. Wow. Look at 
Look at this one. Atenolol for um, high blood pressure. Sebastian Zoko for cholesterol. A lot, right? Do you know that um, those uh, sebastian for lowering the blood cholesterol, they remove your blood cholesterol at the same time because cold enzyme Q10 is fat soluble, therefore it wash away your cold Q10. Usually people who take this kind of drug, the, the doctor will recommend cold Q10 supplements. Okay, so that for gastric as well, for stomach, that's a lot. Calcium, did you see? <laughs> Metformin for diabetic. And in fact, even though you may be taking good quality food, but mind you, currently, the food that we are taking, actually is not, not all of us are taking organic food. If you take organic food, you still have 75% of nutrients. But what we are taking is mass agriculture. Mineral depletion, okay? Monoculture means that they just grow the same crop again and again. So certain nutrients will be uh, bleached. And if you take that crop, that supplement, that nutrient is not present there, okay? So transportation, spray with preservative. Come from China, Malaysia, Indonesia, Europe, Australia. All right, I mean, they have to come a long way to Singapore. You're not getting fresh vegetables from your garden. Alright? Environmental changes sometimes is not within your control. Pollutants, alright? Like the haze is, people are all anticipating the haze coming because it's June and it's been really hot, 33, 34 degrees Celsius. Even your supplements will melt. If you leave it outside, please put in the fridge or else you'll crystallize in the high humidity and in the temperature, okay? Keep your supplements in your fridge. So our toxic burden varies day to day. May not be the same, but different, but do you know we have to defend ourselves? You see that? This alarm here. Warning. Current Generation faces the largest burden of oxidative stress this planet has ever known. The, our later generation uh, has to be uh, the one that suffered more than us. In the past, you see our grandparents, they live much longer because they eat better food than us. Actually, we are victims of our own habits. What are all these? Uh, human cost, right? <laughs> so what are free radicals? We keep talking about free radical attack. This is something that's so real that scientists are really looking seriously into this. That's why there are a lot of supplements that come out of antioxidants. They have to address this issue. They realize that a lot of uh, degenerative diseases are caused by free radicals. What's a free radical? A free radical is a molecule or atom containing one or more lone or unpaired electrons. For instance, this red one. You count how many electrons on the outer circumference of one, two, three, four, five. That means one is unpaired. Usually, they work in different magnetic fields, therefore, they neutralize the charges. But when there is one lone one, this this particular one is not happy. It becomes very unstable. In order to stabilize itself, it will snatch one from the nearby neighbor. And this one, one, two, three, four, five, one is six, but this one got pinched, becomes five. And so this one will have to snatch from the next one to stabilize itself. They don't like to, be, to remain in an unstable form. And because of that, it causes a chain reaction. To the end, the last one will suffer greatly. That's what happened. After all the radicals attack, and that toxic, the toxicity built up in our body as we age.
So this is what we call oxidative stress. All right, skin. When your skin has oxidative stress, you have wrinkled skin, sagging skin. But for organs, this is the onset of disease. All right. What are the conditions associated with free radical damage? Brain disorders, a lot more. Blood cell disorders, gum diseases, gastrointestinal tract, heart, joint, immune, reproductive disorders, more. Cancer, eye disorders, lung, skin, aging. Sleep. Average Singaporean adult gets 6.2 hours of sleep each night, but I think a lot of us have less than that, including myself. Okay, the reasons, you know, they needs, a lot of needs, work, studies, children. Your body needs 7.5 to 9 hours for optimal function. Do need to recover, okay? So what is your optimal health principle? You need to feed and you need to nourish your body system. Not only feed and nourish, you need to cleanse, you need to remove the toxin from your body. So, dietary supplement. Now are being used more often. That's why in Singapore you have a lot of uh, these uh, supplements in many stores. We have a lot of health stores actually. In fact, Singaporeans are very um, wary of their health. Okay, they pay a lot of attention to that. According to the the survey conducted by the Council of Responsible Nutrition, that's in the US, supplement users, when you start using the supplement, all right, you will become more wary of the food that you take. The fact that when you go into supplements, you want to make sure that you are healthy. And in order for yourself to become healthy, you start to be uh, concerned about the food that you eat. You need to have proper sleep as well. What kind of supplements do most people take? Multivite, in fact our isotonic multivite contains 22 essential minerals and vitamins actually meet 100% of the recommended uh, daily uh, portion, the RDA. So actually everyone needs multivite. Fish oil, omega fish oil is very important. Calcium, vitamin D, vitamin C, good for your immune system. All right. What does our Health Sciences Authority of Singapore define? Health supplement. A product that's used to supplement a diet. It's not, you don't take supplement as your major food. It's only to supplement means to add on. And that is supposed to come with benefits beyond those of normal nutrients. Additional. It helps to support and maintain your healthy function. Do you know that because because of um, the power of that supplement, people actually use the nutrition for healing purposes. What is nutritional healing? The theory is that human body is capable of healing itself via the immune system. It's only when your immune system breaks down, then your body cannot heal. Then what will you do? Either you take drugs and suffer some of the side effects or you take supplement to replenish what you lack and automatically your body is supposed to heal itself. Alright? You also need to take action by banning yourself from all the no good food. For example, bacon, sausages. We use the science of natural food herbs, they extract, extract out certain nutrients from there. Then you can get that concentration. Or else, if let's say you look at um, 
the OPC. It's not possible to chew the pine bark, okay? You can't extract the OPC from chewing the pine bark. You need the science to extract that, and we maximize the powers from the plants, the fruit, from the vegetable. So now, come to this. How do we counter free radicals? Antioxidants and detoxification, they link together. Supplementation can help to provide you the antioxidant. And in return, antioxidants play an important role in the detoxification process. <clears throat> the liver is the first and the number one detoxification organ in our body. But you need healthy digestive tract, you need healthy gallbladder, and you need healthy kidneys to help your liver work. Liver. How does the liver work? And how does it detoxify yourself? So you do need to take care of your liver. Your liver's primary function is to sort out and eliminate the toxin from the body. Uh, what everybody knows is... Um, the sugar, right? It produces insulin, but far more than that. Far more than that. It actually neutralizes a lot of toxin because it's been sent to liver for detoxification. That's the reason why when we want to detoxify our body system, we will control ourselves by not taking too much carbohydrates, not to load your liver so your liver can do a good cleansing job. After the cleansing, it will excrete through where? To your kidney. Gastrointestinal function. Food goes in from the mouth. It comes down. Where does it stop? Your stomach. We do know our stomach will produce hydrochloric acid. And this is the first demand. Hydrochloric acid will kill the germs before it goes further into your body system. And what happens if the germs are not killed, it continues on? What will your body do? Purge. You will have diarrhea and have cramps. Okay? Your system cannot cope, it will purge it out. Alright? But sometimes not purge out. You will stay inside and what will it cause? It causes slow inflammation. You wouldn't realize that. You wouldn't notice that. After many, many, many years, then symptoms will pop up one by one. Okay? So it's not a puffing. It, it, is, it involves the immunity. And when our microflora is not balanced, that's, that's when you have irritable bowel syndrome. So this is the time when you need to increase your intake of probiotics and your intestine will finish all the digestion and will pass out all the unwanted material but if unwanted material not pass out then we have problem so how antioxidants can fit in two types of antioxidants one is produced by our own body all right produced by the liver actually through the diets produced by the liver and other parts of the body, but uh, mostly from the liver. And we also have nutritional antioxidants. Is that when we age, our body is not able to function so well, it will produce less glutathione. Then you need supplements. And both need to work hand in hand, okay? Because the antioxidants created by your body are actually dependent on the nutrients in the diet. Without certain nutrients, it can't function so well and it can't produce sufficient glutathione to help detoxify your body. So a poor diet can result in a reduction of the natural antioxidant, okay? Interesting enough, antioxidants, they're not individual. They actually work hand in hand synergistically so therefore, when you take antioxidant, it's not just one type. You take different types. Vitamin C is an antioxidant. Vitamin E, antioxidant. And anthocyanidin, the OPC, is antioxidant. 
and they also need selenium to help them. Okay, selenium is actually a trace element, so you only need very small amount, not a lot. What is optimal wellness? You want to achieve optimal health? You have to have optimal concentrations of nutrition in each cell of the body, okay? And to achieve the optimal concentrations, you need to address your diet, exercise, sleep, optimum supplement. Okay, go for it, so connect. Anyone gonna stretch? <laughs> okay, so far okay? You understand? Okay, we go. Continue. Market America offers powerful nutritional solutions. Okay. What is so special about our supplement? We use the best science, superior quality. Our quality, we use the best raw material. We use trusted manufacturers because we are brokerage company. We don't manufacture. So we have a lot of say by choosing the best one. GMP standard, we fulfill good manufacturing practices, FDA, USDA, or from the different countries, eventually our HSA will have to approve some of our products as well. Best science, we have a research center in the HQ in Greenboro. And we always have good results before they release the product. Isotonic delivery, superior, right? So you know this is our isotonic series. It will deliver superior result, okay? Maximum delivery. No fillers, no binders, just results. Uh, Kelly shared this one last week. How our isotonic are superior because the, the supplements are powder based, water soluble, and when you mix a certain, constant, uh, certain amount of powder with certain amount of uh, water, that solution will achieve the isotonic concentration, therefore it bypass digestion. It, although it goes through the stomach, it doesn't need digestion, it doesn't need uh, to go through all the churning. So we reduce uh, the damage to our nutrients. And quick result, okay, compared to the conventional supplement. So not all supplements are created equal. What are the advantages? First one, it clears the stomach at an optimal rate. You have to clear fast so that you can have the best absorption. Your nutrients will not be damaged by the uh, hydrochloric acid and uh, products are pH buffer. Fast but control, all right? How fast is fast when we did a uh, comparison, isotonic and the tablets, the same thing, okay? The same thing, OPC3. The result shows how fast this one is being absorbed. This plasma radical reduction rate is, they draw the blood from the human, and then they test how much free radicals have been redu uh, reduced after the ingestion of the supplement. Number two, buffer, okay? So people say it's sour, a bit sour. Would that cause gastric? No, you would, because it's pH buffer. The pH buffer means that it will neutralize the acid in the stomach. So it's safe. <clears throat> Delivers the same concentration as your body fluid. Okay, just like the drip. You will see that this is so gentle on your body system that this is as good as a drip. You will find that in your supplement there are a lot of bubbles. Good to drink it with the bubbles. Okay, the bubbles are supposed, the effervescent, is supposed to reduce momentarily means temporarily. Okay, reduce the thickness so that the the solution, the nutrients can be absorbed more readily into your system. Okay, you see the advantage here? People with bending, they 
cannot take a lot of food. How do they get the, the supplements? How do they get the nutrients? Oops. Uh, people who have bypass surgery, okay? Absorption rate, you know that compare, comparatively, isotonic is more effective, 95%. So what's our ultimate goal? Healthy aging, optimal health, you need mentally sharp, vibrant, full of energy, emotionally, spiritually grounded, lean and strong, healthy weight, physically active. This is what we call optimal health for the rest of your life. We want to age gracefully. Okay, now that ends the part one. Now I'm going to introduce two products on the isotonic part. Uh, MA isotonic products, the delivery system is the world's most advanced system. Okay, when we take supplement, can be absorbed within 5 to 10 minutes with a high efficacy of 95%. So we are our that system is called the world's most advanced nutraceutical system. Uh, disclaimer, okay? We will always have to put this disclaimer, it's compulsory in US. The FDA has stated because it's not a drug. Food supplements are not subjected to approval. And it's compulsory to put this statement in. And when you look behind your bottle, you see this disclaimer. Don't worry. It doesn't mean that it's not being approved, it's not good. Yes, we fulfill all the requirement, it's safe. Okay, isotonic resveratrol. Most people know resveratrol is red wine extract. So, if you look at OPC, it also says it contains red wine extract. What is the difference? Anyone know? What's the difference between resveratrol and OPC? Both are red wine extract. Anyone know? It's actually different chemical compound. Okay? Different chemical compound. This resveratrol is presented in small bottle. You know why? Because the quantity you can extract is very little as well. <coughs> Another disclaimer, I'm going to tell you a lot of benefits from resveratrol, but please read this statement first, okay? These are based on the latest research, but I'm not claiming that it would treat certain disease or health conditions, all right? Now, what is resveratrol? Resveratrol is actually a phytoalexin. It means it's actually antibiotics produced by plants that are under attack. Uh, UV, fungi, copper, also anything that attack the leaves, attack the skin, is actually concentrated on the skin. Alright? So if they add us toxins to the attacking organism to protect themselves, can you imagine how much will be produced and how much can you extract out of the skin? Not much. So this is the formula. There are two different formula. You will come across this one. Uh, Resveratrol is fat soluble compound, but it appears in two different kind of shapes. We call configuration cis and trans. This one, you might want, you might think this is so chemical. Actually, it's important to know. The reason is because if you look behind the the ingredient list that you will say that. Uh, how many percent of transveratrol? So then you don't wonder what is transveratrol. It just basically refer to this shape, okay? Mostly that that for human uh, uh, consumption is of the trans variety because that's easier to make. And most research are made based on the trans variety and our isotonic. Resveratrol is also trans variety. Red wine has that much per liter. You can extract 0.1 to 14.3 milligrams only of trans resveratrol, depending on the type of the red wine, depending on where you harvest it, and depending on the processing techniques. So it's very little that you can extract out. 
but it has very, very good uh, uh, benefits. One serving of your MA isotonic resveratrol is as good as taking three bottles of red wine. What are the key ingredients? Biovin Advance is only contains 5% of transveratrol. All right? Actually, Biovin basically combined OPC with transveratrol. 5% is transveratrol, the rest is actually OPC. So it does carry all the benefits of OPC. What are the functions? It has the same benefits as OPC. It promotes detoxification of the body cells. It promotes apoptosis in unhealthy cells, which this one I'll explain later. This is important to know. Uh, it promotes healthy cholesterol level, general free radical scavenging properties. Okay, another ingredient. Do you know what is this one? What does it look like? Red vine. Red vine. We combine the resveratrol and red vine. And that's called resveravine. People look at the back. Hey, it's not resveratrol, it says resveravin. What is resveravin? Resveravin contains 20% of resveratrol. They combine to give you the synergistic uh, benefits. Basically, resveravin means concentrated form of transveratrol. And then uh, we add in the veneferin, so extracted from the vine stem. So it is actually 100 to 300 times more concentrated in transveratrol than other products from red skin. So when you buy resveratrol from the market, do check carefully the ingredient. Huh? Function, high level of radical defense against oxidative stress, promote stronger normal cellular activity, higher antioxidant protection because it's more concentrated. Okay, so it can protect against the LDL, the cholesterol. Eight times more likely to promote this one. It's called sirtuin gene. I will explain later. Okay, does this look like blueberries? Yeah, it's wild blueberries. It's not the normal blueberries we buy from NTUC. It's wild blueberries grown in France. We call that that extract, we call that vital blue. This contains high alright, okay? And it has a very powerful flavonoid antioxidant as well. They have a lot of function, cardiovascular health, apoptosis again, contributes to normal cell cycle, overall cellular health. Okay, anyone need a stretch? <laughs> okay, apoptosis. Apoptosis means normal programmed cell death. Actually, our, cell, our cells have a lifespan and uh, it's actually limited genetically. Like red blood cells can live for 120 days only. So our bone marrow is producing red blood cells all the time. Imagine that the bone marrow has problems, then the person will become anemic. Apoptotic process actually is good. It safely disposes all cells, cell fragments, get rid of them, and will not trigger inflammation. For example, uh, white blood cells also have a limited lifespan. Menstruation, women keep on bleeding, but the woman won't die. Why? They're disposing the unwanted blood. All right. Normal cell damage commit cell suicide. This is all programmed genetically, not within our control. But when it's malfunctioned, subjected to free radical attack, it started to become inflamed and got out of shape, out of color, 
they won't care less, they won't commit suicide, they continue on. You avoid apoptosis and they pro proliferate, that means they duplicate and they become uncontrolled growth. And what will happen? Tumor. Start like that first, little bit by little bit. I remember Dr. Yang shared colon cancer tech 20 years. Okay? Apoptosis, you won't function in cancer cells, so take care of that one. <clears throat> this is what your blood looks like. Red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets. Platelets are cell fragments. They are not considered cells. Okay? And of course, it's surrounded, floating in plasma. So resveratrol is found to inhibit cell proliferation. It stops the unhealthy cells from duplicating and it will induce apoptosis in the cancer cells. Helps to promote apoptosis in unhealthy prostate cells. Um, this is really uh, important for men, especially when they come to middle age, when they have to take care of their prostate gland. Just like women will have to go for pap smear. Maintain cell health, promotes normal cell cycle activity. Promotes cardiovascular health. Now, how does this happen? In resveratrol, it contains high content of OPC. Resveratrol itself are able to promote the production of nitric oxide that lines our blood vessel and that actually helps to regulate your platelet clotting behavior. And when that platelet uh, is not controlled properly, sometimes due to free radical attack, they got false alarm, they thought they have a cut or something. You know, automatically when we have a cut, our blood will clot. And, and when, the, when the platelet uh, clotting activity got affected, it clot within our system, and that's dangerous. That's when people get thrombosis or they get heart attack. But the rest, OPC and respiratory can regulate and helps the body system to control the coagulating factor of the platelets. So unlike other the drugs that can cause bleeding. Okay? So this is very important. It causes your vessels, the blood vessels, to relax as well. Alright? It protects the cholesterol from oxi oxidizing and then it will not plaque your blood vessels and will not cause the atherosclerosis. That's a hardening of your blood vessels. This, this is the cholesterol. Actually, it's oxidized LDL combined with white blood cells combined with other minerals. This is called foam cells that line up here and your passage for blood to flow through, it gets tighter and tighter. And if the platelets get stuck here and form a clot, that's when the person will have a heart arrest. But resveratrol has this very good thing. Just now I told you the sirtuin genes. Take a look at this one. SIRT refers to sirtuin genes. It's actually another name for this is called longevity genes. Long, we, all our human bodies have these longevity genes. And then, when you, um, when that gets activated, it actually helps in the cal calorie restriction, fat mobilization, help you to lose weight automatically, and it helps in the mitochondria of your cells, uh, energy function, longevity, fights obesity and diabetes because it helps to restrict the calorie. Okay, and it also enhances cell survival during stress. It helps to rejuvenate your old and dying cells. So it prevents premature cell death. Okay, we also have further benefits that come from the, the wild berry, the vital blue. We have high or red value, super antioxidant. And this is another thing. This nuclear factor, Kappa B, is the, is the enzyme that actually plays a key role in regulating 
your immune system and inflammatory responses. When you get inflammation of your joints, and this is what that comes up when he says that it's a damage. It's actually to protect your body from further damage. That's why there is an inflammation. Now, when we don't have enough of this thing, it links to cancer, inflammation, and viral infection. So, inflammation, okay, all these are due to inflammation as well, okay? Precaution. When you take resveratrol, you need to take precaution. Theoretically, because resveratrol can also thin the blood in that sense, help platelets to flow. So, if people are taking the other drugs, then it will cause an overdose of drugs, right? Anticoagulant drugs, warfarin, delay the clotting time. Antiplatelets, just stop the platelets from clotting. And as a, these, these are non steroidal uh, anti inflammatory drugs like aspirin, ibuprofen, we also call them blood thinners. Um, this is another thing. Women that have a history of breast cancer, womb cancer, uh, ovarian cancer, all these, they will they, uh, advise to avoid resveratrol. The reason is because the estrogen, people who are estrogen sensitive, um, the resveratrol has the ability to combine with the estrogen receptor and is pro, is for and against, okay, in the presence of certain factors, it might cause uh, the wrong reaction. So therefore, we will avoid this until further research has been done. So remember, people who have estrogen sensitive cancers is best not to recommend resveratrol. Okay. Resveratrol, there are more than 300 articles or write up you can find in the Public Medication National Library of uh, US. I list you some, okay? Apoptosis, arsenic, uh, they use arsenic trioxide to syn synergistically kill tumor cells. It's very good for cancer cells, but just for that particular cancer, we be careful, okay? They even think about this for epilepsy. Okay, anyone need a break, color break? <laughs> Q10, continue? Okay? Yeah. No falling asleep? <laughs> okay, Coenzyme Q10, how much do you know about Coenzyme Q10? Do you know what is this? What does that look like? Mitochondria, part of our cells, okay? This is the energy production. This is where your energy is produced in every cell. <clears throat> okay, coenzyme Q10. Even if you go to the health store, you want to purchase coenzyme Q10, you will come across this name. Ubiquinone, ubiquinone, coenzyme Q. I mean, there are different names. Okay, so when you see this, just know this it refers to coenzyme Q10 or CoQ10 in short. Okay, CoQ10 is actually produced in our body as well. It's a fat soluble vitamin. It's present in most cells, okay? Called the mitochondria, just now you saw that is your energy production house. <clears throat> what happened is this. Called enzyme Q10 helps to carry electrons between molecules, and that helps to produce ATP. ATP uh, is the energy carrying molecule. It then take the energy to every part of your body. Imagine you have lack of CoQ10. What will happen when you lack electron to carry all the energy to produce the energy? You will feel fatigued. All right. 
And if you let CoQ10 in the heart, the heart of the word so heart, sometimes it causes um, uh, heart enlargement. Okay? Because the heart has to pump so hard. 95% uh, of our human energy is generated by mitochondria and coenzyme Q10 is the necessary ingredient. Okay, where can you find coenzyme Q10? Highest energy requirement is a heart. Pumps all the time, 24 hours a day. Alright, your liver, your kidney, because you know why, they need energy. So CoQ10 functions in every cell of the body to synthesize energy. How our body makes energy? Your yeah, fatty acids, glucose, combined with oxygen. And where do they go? They are processed in your mitochondrial cell. CoQ10 is important. And this is what you get. Energy, carbon dioxide, and free radicals. Free radicals aren't all bad, alright? We need free radicals in our body. But other than through our metabolism where free radicals are produced, there are other forms of free radicals generated by other factors, alright? UV, radiation, smoking, pollution, okay, from your white blood cells, inflammation. So that comes oxidative stress, just now you saw what oxidative stress. This is, these are the sicknesses that are associated with oxidative stress. So free radicals, we, we need free radicals to fight germs. The white blood cells will activate free radicals to engulf all those um, germs and viruses for our immune system. But when too much too much are produced. That's the the worst thing is that the free radicals attack your own body cells. So when you have imbalance, okay, your body cannot detoxify. Then what do you do? You really need supplements to help you. What are the key ingredients of CoQ10? Cocutase is actually water insoluble, it's wax line, okay, so it's actually fat soluble. There are 100 mg, take note of this, 100 mg of cocutane in our isotonic cocutane. It helps our body, when we have this uh, cocutane presented in isotonic form, Due to our superior formula, you are able to absorb this nutrient more quickly and more efficiently. Okay, because it's made into highly bioavailable form. When you buy from outside, they are in capsules because it's a it's actually sometimes it's dissolved in vitamin uh, vitamin E. It's also a fat soluble vitamin. Either in capsules or in pills form. Okay, we need to replenish the deficiency of CoQ10. Actually, our body produces um, CoQ10 up to the peak age of 20. Right after 20, it slowly declines. So when people reach near middle age, they do need to replenish CoQ10 or else you lack energy, okay? Especially people with cardiovascular health or people with high cholesterol, they need CoQ10 because when they take uh, the cholesterol pills, it wash away uh, the CoQ10 as well. Okay? It pairs with key vitamins and electrolytes to help you um, in the metabolism, in energy production. And the Computane is also an antioxidant. It actually protects the heart. Why is computane so important? Before the LDL gets oxidized and flow into the heart, computane will take care because the highest concentration of computane is in the heart. Protects the cholesterol from depositing and it also helps the heart to have sufficient energy, okay? 
Vitamin E is also very important. Vitamin E is also another fat-soluble antioxidant. And in our isotonic CoQ10, we included vitamin E. It works together with CoQ10 that protect the cells around the heart against the lipoprotein oxidation. We also have lipase. Lipase is water-soluble fat-digesting enzyme. I think that the fat-soluble CoQ10 is probably mixed in with the lipase. That's why it can become isotonic. It's this one is water-soluble fat-digesting enzyme. All right. We have vitamin B2 as well. Supports the metabolic process. It works well, hand-in-hand hand with CoQ10. Because CoQ10 is also an electron transport chain. So that vitamin B2, they are just good friends. We also have potassium. Potassium provides the electrolyte for the transportation, all right? And for the electrical function as well. Okay, benefits of CoQ10, good for your heart. And in, your, in the car, without spark plug, your car cannot start. Likewise, Without CoQ10, your heart cannot function. Okay, CoQ10 protects the peroxidation of lipid membranes. It's actually present in every cell of the body, but it's just the high concentration in the heart and in the organs. Okay, it also helps to resist the hydroxyl free radicals, uh, strengthen the heart, all right, manage the cholesterol, manage the blood pressure. It's actually very good for lowering uh, blood pressure. <coughs> Muscle endurance, remember the longevity gene, the circuit gene. Okay? Uh, it enhances the physical performance. You release you from uh, morning tiredness or people that suffer from uh, fibromyalgia. They feel just so tired, fatigued. They don't have energy, that means their mitochondria is not functioning so well. Need to have uh, some supplements of CoQ10. Brain, do you know that our brain needs a lot of energy as well for thinking, for electron transport? Now, when there is a lack of CoQ10, people suffer what other diseases associated with that? Parkinson, Alzheimer, memory loss. Okay, aging process. We help uh, fight the free radicals in the brain. So it helps to protect the brain from memory loss and mental decline. Get it? Alright. Do you know there are four different types of headache? Like vascular, muscular contraction, traction, inflammatory. All these, there are research research that shown that CoQ10 is able to interfere with the inflammatory uh, mechanism and the mitochondrial dysfunction. So what happens is that when the CoQ10 provides the energy to the brain and it actually helps to release a person from that migraine attack and pain. Okay? Gum health. Periodontal health. People who suffer from diabetes, they tend to be more susceptible to the gum disease because the oxidative damage will come with it. CoQ10 seems to be able to help with gingival pockets, all right? Helps to control the bleeding in the gum. All right, it helps also maintain Blood sugar, immune system, appearance of wrinkles good for the skin, helps to reduce chemotherapy related heart damage, uh, beneficial for people with allergies as well, asthma, respiratory disease. Uh, Cocutane can also act as an antihistamine. It relieves leg cramping. People who use cholesterol lowering drugs tend to have that side effect. Research in Japan also shows that. The CoQ10 can actually protect the stomach lining and heal the duodenal ulcer. 
dosage recommendation. Uh, the clinical studies demonstrated that these are the safe dosage. I tell you what our health science authority restriction and control. Singapore, uh, 150 mg per day with cautionary label. Okay, take note. Do not take while on wafering therapy without medical advice. That's the reason for that. But please take note. Market America's isotonic CoQ10 per serving is 100 mg. So it falls within the restriction and control of our local government. But however, this part, okay, this part you must take care. I tell you why. Yeah, morning, ah. Huh? <clears throat> works against buffering. It tends to increase the blood clotting. And likewise, by the way, people who are on buffering, they are told not to take too much green vegetable because of vitamin K, because that helps in clotting. For normal people, we need to take more, to so that when you have a car, your blood will clot automatically. But people who are on warfarin, they are trying to decrease, uh, decrease the clotting time of your platelet. And when you take this, then what will happen is that it will reduce the effect of the warfarin. Now, when the doctor prescribes warfarin, it means that person's blood is really thick. So they, they want to stop platelets from clotting, all right, or delay the clotting time. But, and this can be very dangerous, it's trying to fall the clot, then if there's a blood clot, it can cause heart attack. So usually when people take CoQ10, uh, they tend to take about five hours apart from the time when they take warfarin. But that part, please seek advice from the doctor. Don't help yourself. Dangerous, huh? It's a life um, system. CoQ10 really can lower uh, blood pressure. Can lower blood uh, blood pressure, but people who are already taking uh, medication for lowering the blood pressure, then you just take note, you need to monitor. Um, Cocutin also can interact with certain chemotherapy agents, uh, such as the doxorubicin. So, uh, the oncologist will not um, advise uh, those uh, people who are going through chemotherapy to take CoQ10 as well because it reduces the effect. Okay, last one. Still okay, huh? Okay, we have isotonic products. We also have non isotonic products. So I'm going to introduce you to one of non isotonic products. Not all market America supplements are available in isotonic form. Why? Not everything can be made into isotonic, okay? There are many factors to consider. Taste. Certain herbs are very bitter. Certain herbs has a smell. You can't make that into isotonic. People won't drink it. It's disgusting. Solubility. You have to consider the solubility of the nutrients. Availability of the ingredient in powder form. For instance, omega-3 oil. Not possible to make it into isotonic. It's oil, you know. So sometimes you need to look at the optimal delivery method. Let's look at this tablet prescription. It's actually stated very good anti-aging skincare because there are a lot of vitamins put in for the skincare. And it's actually a very strong antioxidant. It's in capsule form, it's a combination of vitamins, mineral, and some special herbs. Key ingredient packed with vitamins. Some people can't take uh, the isotonic, they can choose this one, or, or alternatively, they can combine. We have vitamin A. Vitamin A is an antioxidant. It's good for eyesight, night vision, skin healing, membrane, immune function, new cell growth. Helps to protect the cells against cancer. People who 
uh, cancer that increase the dosage of vitamin A. All right. It's also known for its rainfall and edge spots uh, elimination. We all know vitamin C, good for your immune system. Vitamin C, there uh, the two different names, but the vitamin C we are looking at is ascorbic acid. Okay, it helps in tissue formation and wound healing. Helps to metabolize fats and protein. Now, vitamin C is very important for the formation of collagen. So for good skin health, you, you do need to take sufficient vitamin C. C can prevent common cold. You heard that you combine OPC3, vitamin C, and the latest zinc. It helps to reduce the flu, uh, the length of time that you suffer from the flu and the severity of it. All right. Vitamin E, of course, is another kind of antioxidant. It prevents cell damage. Supports your respiratory system, helps the milk and is anti-aging. So all these vitamins, they work together, and so the effect is even greater than you add up the sum of the individual effects. That's why I said antioxidants is good to take in different forms. Now selenium, just how you saw from the picture, antioxidants, they need our liver needs selenium to produce the glutathione. All right, so selenium is important. It's actually a trace element you can find in the soil. You only need very small, that's what we call trace element. It's an antioxidant to help fight free radical. Without selenium, your body can't function very well to produce the glutathione. And we support our body's uh, manufacture of antioxidant, right? It works well with vitamin E to produce antibodies. <coughs> Needed for pancreatic function and tissue elasticity. In the coenzyme Q10, remember vitamins, minerals, and herbs and botanicals. What are the herbs involved? Green tea extract is also an antioxidant. Jing uh, Jingo Biloba, that one helps with people with ear imbalance as well. Right. Milk tea salt. Milk tea is very good for detoxifying the liver. In the Hipako cleanse, Hipako cleanse contains a milk tea salt. Alright, it helps to detoxify the liver. Of course, the bilberry is very good. Bilberry also helps to strengthen the blood capillaries. So let's take a look at this. This is Market America's Oxygen Extreme. We have bilberry, noctisol, beta carotene, vitamin C, selenium, green tea extract, ginkgo biloba. Uh, but you compare to other antioxidants, they do not have all these ingredients that we have. We synergistically combine all these ingredients. That's why ours is a good product. Overall benefits of oxygen extreme provide strong antioxidant protection, healthy immune, cardiovascular health, healthy cholesterol, healthy digestive tract, healthy liver, good skin health, promote eye and vision from the blueberry, uh, the wild berry, yeah, the blueberry, cognitive health, healthy reproductive system. Because when we lack in vitamin E, that affects the reproductive system. Well, Scientists now believe that if you increase the body's intake of antioxidant, you all can stay healthier longer. Like this. So what's the challenge for all? Find the right antioxidant in the right amount. With that, I end my presentation tonight. Was that informative? Yes. yes. Oh, that's good. I tell you what, uh, what we'd like to do right now is to open the floor for any questions uh, regarding today's presentation. If there's any areas that you still like to, you know, 
clarify, feel free to ask, and uh, uh, people will try to you know explain to you whether. Okay. Any questions from the floor? Yeah. Yeah. Elsie. We have. I think the one thing that uh, gets us all excited is how good this product is, how good that product is. But what is the quantity? You know, you're like, oh, I'm going to take this, I'm going to take that, and then at the end of the day, are we going to take 10 bottles of everything? I mean, this is very human nature. So even for ourselves as a, a distributor, this is this is the feeling that we have. So in terms of recommendation, um, what would you say? That's question one. And secondly, because um, our portion, the, the, the isotonic, the amount is like one cap full with the certain amount of water. You know how it is when we, <laughs> uh, when we actually pour it into our little cup, usually it may not be as equal to as what it's meant to be. So it may not be actually as isotonic as we like it to be. Then, okay, what would you advise? First question, what is the dosage recommendation? Now you do know our supplements are just nutritional supplements. They are not drugs, all right? So there is no fixed dosage. Usually behind the bottle, of every supplement, there is a recommended dosage that is actually to give you the safest, the minimum, minimum dosage. Okay. Now, before you recommend anyone um, any supplement, this is my experience and this is what I would normally do. First of all, you do need to check the background of the person. Why check the background? To make sure there's no interaction between the drug and the supplement. It's always important to check the person's health. Okay, are you taking any medication? Um, <clears throat> what is the condition? When you check the condition, you're tapping into what is the deficiency the person has. And what do you think is a good supplement to patch back or to replenish what the person uh, is lacking? So you always check the person's condition. Uh, you suffering from any uh, sickness. Let's say, for example, people with kidney problem, they cannot filter uh, too much minerals from their body. Let's say uh, potassium or sodium. Then do you know our isotonic products all contains potassium? Okay, I'm trying to figure out what is the concentration. But of course, on the safety precaution, uh, you won't recommend very high dosage. Now, according to the person's individual needs, we recommend them how much to take. It depends on the severity of the person as well. They say, for instance, um, for respiratory and obesity, when you find out that person is on warfare, you be careful. When you want to recommend, it depends if the person can take that. Uh, if they, uh, uh, the, the body is not uh, able to take too much adjustment. Because when people take warfare, take anticoagulant, antiplatelets, they must do regular blood tests to check the clotting factor called INR. All right? Roughly, every month or every few months, they must do because the doctor will adjust warfarin accordingly. The warfarin dosage will not be a fixed dosage. I tell you why, because my father was on it. They always have to adjust up and down accordingly. And now when the person takes warfarin, they cannot take too much vitamin K. They can't take green vegetables. Then the doctor will have to increase the dosage of warfarin. They see that ah, the clotting time is too fast. Then they go to stretch it, they increase the dosage. And when they increase the dosage, the side effect kicks in. The person can have bleeding. You will see the hands or the skin gets bruised easily or they look reddish. It's actually mouth bleeding inside. 
Okay. So, like for instance, OPC say for healthy people. The guideline is like 1 mg of pycnogen no? per kilogram mass. So, let's say per serving of OPC is 25 mg, right? So, a person with 50 kg of weight, then we will recommend two serving. The bottle will say one serving. Uh, basically, it's for maintenance dose. Okay, they also want to be very safe. One dose, you should have no problem at all. Most people, very safe one. Alright, but our body uh, build up quite a lot of toxin as we age. It depends uh, when we reach a certain age. If a young, young people, you would recommend very high dosage, they don't need. All right, but our body as we age, we accumulate a lot of free radicals. Initially, we will increase the dosage to fight the free radicals and to increase the reservoir of your uh, antioxidant. So normally, we would recommend that you take two caps um, <clears throat> in the morning, or some they want to increase to two caps, two caps, depending on the condition. Some people will uh, want to lower their blood cholesterol we will recommend them was two caps, two caps. Uh, people with severe, severe symptoms. Okay, I mean allergy, skin eczema, they can also take two caps, two caps. But let's say people with uh, cancer, they want to fight the cancer, the doctors recommend three, three, three. Three times. Three caps, three caps, three caps. That's, they need a lot of antioxidants. These, these are the testimonies from the doctors. Uh, it is actually proven to be safe. Okay, that's OPC. Likewise for respiratory, similar. And for coenzyme Q10, like I said, the time of injection between warfarin and CoQ10 has to be apart. Okay, has to be apart. That one, you have to seek. Always ask them to show the bottle to the doctor. Okay, to be said, you don't want to be accountable in case anything. And of course, when you recommend supplements, you do not especially OPC tend to manifest in a healing reaction. So people must anticipate what is going to happen or else they are caught with shock. Then they will tell you, your product is no good. It caused me body ache all over or it caused my rashes to appear. You know? So you have to always check first. It goes according to the body, the body needs. You always find out what is the problem, then you recommend accordingly. That is to be said. If you are not sure, you tell them, check with the doctor first. Um, second question. About the mixture, because all the good products, like in it, everyone end up taking 10 products. Supplements? <laughs> Supplements is to is to actually make up what your body lacks. Usually, uh, the good guy is your fast start kit. The MA has already planned out what is good for you. In your fast start kit, you have the daily essential kit. That is really important. Vitamin B needs to be replenished every day. Calcium, you need it every day. Multiply, you need every day. OPC, you need every day. And digestive enzyme. To start off with, a lot of people do not know the importance of digestive enzyme. If you take before a uh, meal, then it, it gives you the detox, um, give you the detox um, property. Because when the stomach is empty, um, it helps to break down all the remnant. But when you take after meal, then it aids in your digestion. So usually in the morning, it's good to take before you take breakfast. Then, then after dinner, you take uh, the en digestive enzyme so that your stomach will not have too much food stuck there overnight. Alright? And for your aloe vera, it aids in your digestion. So, it's not an isotonic. You can, if you take digestive enzyme after food, you can actually mix it with your aloe vera. Okay? You can actually mix it with your aloe vera. Uh, I always take the aloe vera after food. Initial period, if you want to cleanse the system, you increase the dosage. But then, for maintenance, you can lower your dosage 
as your body adjusts to the supplement. Does that help? Okay, any other questions? OPC and respiratory. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> generally, OPC is same for the cancer patients. Now, respiratory has a few specific benefits. For instance, respiratory can induce apoptosis. OPC doesn't. Secondly, <clears throat> respiratory can uh, stimulate the sirtuin, the longevity genes, and that helps to um, uh, helps the, uh, uh, the the muscle endurance. And also, when people have stress, people have stress, uh, respiratory can kick in. Okay, and it also have a strong factor in anti-inflammation. OPC is also an anti-inflammation agent that respiratory especially uh, could be stronger and that um, and also um, respiratory is very good also for the prostate health is it induced apoptosis in the prostate gland so that's quite special between respiratory and OPC. A respiratory contains OPC as well. So it also runs all the benefits of what OPC can do. Okay? <coughs> do you know why some people don't recommend cancer patients to start with OPC? <coughs> if the cancer patients need to go through chemotherapy, Sometimes, uh, with the actually the actually from the past and from a lot of testimonials, they actually recommend high dosage of OPC to treat cancer patients. But before chemotherapy treatment, not advisable. Remember, OPC acts as blood thinner. All right. So with the chemotherapy, uh, it may reduce the effect of chemotherapy. It can interact. So therefore, before people have any cancer treatment, any chemotherapy treatment, they should not take any supplements for a while. They should stop for you know at least one week before. So to make sure it does not uh, cause the chemotherapy to be ineffective. Do you know why? Remember, if it's chemotherapy, radiation, what does it stimulate? Free radicals. Okay, and if your OPC is against free radicals, what will happen? It will, it will literally make your chemotherapy ineffective. Yeah? So therefore, you will take any of this thing before any chemotherapy treatment. But after the treatment, you must counteract the effect from the radiation and the chemotherapy. So, after treatment, after uh, the person recover a while, they will increase the dosage of OPC to fight off the effect of the free radical. So it will cause further damage. You know, free radical cause oxidative stress. It may heal the, oxi uh, heal the cancer cell. Uh, actually, it's to kill the cancer cells and kill your good cells as well because of the radiation, because of free radicals kill your good cells as well. So when people, uh, after the chemotherapy, they'll increase the dosage of OPC to counteract the effect of free radicals. Okay? So 
Oh, there's no mention about uh, kidney patients. Kidney so patients. People huh? on dialysis, mm. do you recommend any supplement? Very sensitive. Because the kidneys, uh, the function of kidney is to filter out the urea, the minerals, uh, excess sugar, excess minerals, when the kidney is not filtering certain minerals, you cannot add in more minerals. You see our isotonic have contains potassium bicarbonate. That's part of the um, isotonic formula to give the um, to give the effervescent effect. And also potassium is important for the um, electrolyte. Now with people with kidney dialysis, I don't know what to recommend. Just have to be very careful. Because they can't even filter anything. So if you add in further things, it will cause other issues. So that's why always check if they have any other issue. Maybe some people are just not suitable. Yeah? If they are not suitable or there are certain conditions, you must be careful because ultimately we don't want to cause further harm. For the person. <coughs> what if the uh, patient uh, have a kidney stone and advisable to take calcium? When a person has a kidney stone, yes. that's when the, the excess <coughs> calcium that's circulating in the body yeah. um, combined with the other minerals. So, when the person has a kidney stone, there are two ways of looking at it. One is that because the person is lacking calcium, and the excess calcium is leaking out from their bones, and then the excess calcium circulates in the body to form stones. On the other hand is that if the person is already having too much calcium, then, you know, it might be wise just to hold for a while. You have to check. Sometimes it's good to check with the doctor as well, because we are only recommending uh, supplements. Although supplements, um, they do not need to be um, approved by the authority. But when it comes to uh, health, personal health, we do need to exercise caution. Okay, we cannot hard sell, we cannot anyhow say, eat by this, by this, good, good food, cannot. What if that one cause other problem? Are we going to be accountable? Yeah, we always be careful. Can you mention about uh, NA isotonic calcium, why it's so different that it does not result in stones? Usually, ionic calcium is bioavailable. What we mean by uh, bioavailable, it means that it can be absorbed into our body system. Now, our isotonic calcium is bioavailable. It contains an ionic calcium. Uh, can actually do a demonstration or a test. You find that um, it it easily. That means our isotonic calcium easily dissociate in the water to form the electrolyte. And when you form electrolyte, you will find the calcium ions and if you know that it dissociates well. And if it dissociates well, it can be bioavailable, can be absorbed into our body system. Then you won't circulate in your body to have the opportunity to form stones. You understand? That's why our calcium is more superior than the market calcium. You know we have another isotonic product called feminine, helps adjust the, the hormones. Uh, we also have another one called Secretagos. We can go with Secretagos. F C C R E. Huh? Uh, it's not. It's more for the hormonal balance. That one is a hormone um, stimulation. Uh, hormone hormone stimulator. Uh, Secretagog for people who are anemic. You should find out 
the background white. Lacking in iron because is there any other health issues involved? Generally, if you want to increase the iron, right, we have isotonic multiply with iron and vitamin B contains folic acid as well, helps in your iron production. Alright, generally these two can pack care, but it's a hormonal uh, balance secretor god can help to stimulate the production of hormones. Uh, you have to check sometimes the underlying issue. You know why the person is lacking in iron. Okay. Number of the supplement uh, always say promotes cardiovascular health. For example, obesity, estrus lenty, coenzyme gluten. So what do you recommend if somebody wants to promote their cardiovascular General people, general healthy person, general healthy person. <clears throat> they can take OPC, they can take Estazante, or, or Resveratrol. But sometimes we combine effect when the person's uh, health condition is like more serious, because when you have synergistic effect, when you combine different things. Now, <clears throat> Uh, of basically, OPC, if you for cardiovascular health, OPC and respiratory quite similar. Quite similar. Um, they strengthen the blood capillaries. They, they promote the production of nitric oxide. Uh, basically, anticoagulant, uh, vasodilation. Um, for estosanthine, estosanthine is. Uh, a beta carotene, a vitamin uh, A family. Okay? Um, Estazantin is found to have very strong um, antioxidant properties as well, and especially good for the heart and the eyes. So, if the person wants to address the eyes, say, got cataract and glaucoma, Estazantin is actually very good. So, you want to combine the fact it depends. Some people can pack OPC and Estazantin together. You can pack both together. Sometimes I pack both as well. Then we have uh, the isotonic uh, lutein. 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 Oh, the lutein. So that's uh, also for eyes. Yeah, so we have, we have many, many good products. You do need to study each individual product. Uh, for for uh, lutein, generally, now the lutein concentration is the highest in the eye retina. Okay, uh, just for general health, a uh, general vision health, uh, lutein is a good supplement. But let's say uh, people want to address a little bit a more serious issue, even lutein might not be sufficient. Then you recommend azathioprine. Azathioprine is very good. Azathioprine also helps in uh, muscle endurance uh, against oxidative stress as well, and it's in pill form. That one is uh, when there are some times when they are in fact. Uh, there are some defects that happen. Um, what you can do when you take supplements is in the hope that if you can counteract the free radicals, the condition will improve. It does not necessarily mean that the supplements can cure or treat that particular disease. You can, supp you can supplement with essence, you can supplement with the lutein, but it does not mean that it can cure that particular defect. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, that is uh, the end of today's uh, presentation. Okay. Uh, Eddie, Eddie, can you... Uh,
announce those who have not signed Yeah, for those who have not uh, to... put down your name for attendance today, yes. uh, please see Elsie behind. Yes.